Yo, what's going on? This is Bobby from Grub Mud. I want to say a big thanks to Jeff from Deco Creep for putting together one of the best concrete expos. Well, the only concrete expo I've ever been to, but it was a blast. And let me tell you what, I highly recommend all of you guys going next year. I'm sure they're going to kill it. They say it keeps on getting better and better every year. But I got to meet the one and only Mike Day. And let me tell you what, <laughs> it was a blast. But it would not be possible if it wasn't for Decocrete. I did buy some joiners and I did buy some blades and we won a fire pit from Gorilla Concrete Saws. The next video will actually be the full video. So um, if you want to see clips, go over to my second page of Grub Mud 2. Link will be in the description in the comment section. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again, Decocrete. Hey guys, what's going on? I appreciate you clicking on the video. Today we got an exclusive video. If you see the guy sitting there in the yellow shirt, his name is Mike Day. He was one of four of us concrete YouTubers on a panel discussion. There you see me on the left, Rick next to me, Mike Day in the yellow, and Ryan Victory Outdoor Services on the right. But today we're talking about this guy. His name's Mike Day. He's like the second concrete YouTuber ever. And I just happened to have on my GoPro and I got a sit down impromptu interview with him. Here he is right here. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. What's up, Mike? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Just doing a little celebration, you know what I mean? And you're 58. Wait till you get 68. <laughs> 59. 59, I couldn't hear what you said. I'm just in the high 50s. Hey, this is an OG. Uh, Mike, I'm curious. I am very curious because I know everybody is inspired by somebody at first to get on YouTube by. Well, mostly. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe somebody told you, but I am so curious, bro. What inspired you to get on YouTube? I think fear of being left behind. Because when I first started, it was quite a while ago, but all that was, it was beginning to be kind of new. Yeah. And that's kind of how I built my website too. It was when websites were starting to be popular. Uh -huh. It's like, well, if I don't have one, the guy that has one's gonna get more work than me, so that was kind of how I built that. Yeah. And that was before YouTube. And then the YouTube stuff started getting more popular. So who, who did you see? Did you see anybody that inspired you? No, it was just I'm gonna go buy a camera and put it up. I think. Did you see any other channels that inspired you or anything? I probably did. None that none that like pop right out of me. It was uh -huh. just a matter of you know, hey, I like watching YouTube on my phone. Yeah. Of other stuff. I, I like watching. I like watching sports a lot. I'm yeah, big, yeah. I'm a big basketball. Oh player. hell no! Nah. So I would me watch too. a lot of basketball. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. You know me and my boy. And, uh, you would see. You know, you would see some guys on there. I don't remember who at this minute. Probably the first one he could, might have ever saw was Odell. I figured that. Yeah. I think he kind of started before any of us. Mm -hmm. So if I had to say somebody, maybe him, I was like, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. I can just stick a camera there. And That's how me. I felt when I saw West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Because West Coast inspired me. Uh, but I, I was inspired by you too, because I came across your videos. I remember when you called me. I, I reached out to you after my second video, and I called you. And I left, I think I emailed you or something. You probably did, yeah. And I don't email anybody. So you, resp you called back, and I actually, we were on the job site. And we talked then, but we also talked afterwards too. And it was, uh, you gave me a lot of game, bro. Uh, you gave me a lot of game. And, but just the fact that you reached back out to a guy with 20 subscribers, uh, that means a lot, dude. And that, and that says a lot about you, That's man. It's hard to start. It is. It's hard to start anything. Uh huh. Change. Yeah. 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 Especially when you know you're probably not that good at it. I think none of us are really that good at it to start. Do you remember me saying I don't want you to look at me as competition or anything? And I don't I don't remember what you said, but I remember it was really there was some gold in there. I think you said the more you do, the more everybody does, the better for the need. I can kind of remember a little bit about you know I could said but just be yourself. I know you're gonna find people that relate to you. Yeah. Different than the people that relate to me, as long as you're yourself. Yeah. And it has, sure. It's oh yeah. Turned out to be that way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And you still got guys that are crossover like Grumpy that watch right. everything. You know right. what I mean? Shout out Dave. Dave Tepper's a good dude. Yeah. Do you know Grumpy? I don't know if I know him personally. No. You should watch a couple. I think I've seen him on comment. Oh, oh he's on your comment section yeah. big time. You should watch a couple of his videos. Uh, he does concrete, but he doesn't know how to edit really. He's getting to where he learns how to edit. But yeah. So for a concrete guy, I almost like the non-edited 
clip. Yeah. You know, that's cool. So, But now he's getting to where he's in iMovie, so he knows how to edit yeah. a little bit. But uh, you should definitely check his channel out. He's a good dude. Uh, good dude, too. Yeah. You'll like his character. He matches up with you really well. How much work he can do by himself. Really? Mm -hmm. And he wants me and you, because I, I was going to go up and have you show me how to Viber Street. And uh, he wants to come with, if that's so cool. Yeah, with the right, with the right breakers and the right slump, it's really easy. Yeah, the slump is a big deal. Come on over here. You like about a, about a six? At least. We pull a lot of reducer and everything. Well, you know, the mixed designs we use, I, I could pull an eight. It's just the way they're made. We don't usually pull quite that loose. Although everybody on YouTube thinks I do. Let me ask you about that. Let me ask you about that. So is the, the eight slump, is that all water reducer or is there water in that too? There's water in it. I thought so there was they'll batch the truck out as they're batching it, right? Yeah. They put in so many ounces per yard of water reducer, like 15 ounces. Uh -huh. It's very, very little. So as they're batching it, the guy, when he, after, he, after he drives out under the hopper, goes to wash down, he's probably got a three or four slump with the water reducer, but there's a little water in there. That's just the way it's designed. I, I was curious. So then he doesn't want to leave the plant with anything really less than a full up. He might add a little bit of water right there. Then he gets on site. And it's like, he knows what we pour every day. Mike, you want a six? Yeah. yeah. So he'll add 10 gallons, 20 gallons. It doesn't take a lot of water after that because mm -hmm. he's got water reducer. Yeah. So yes. With that water reducer, you know, like, you know how sometimes two magnets, they'll want to connect together, you put them the right way, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they'll also want to repel yeah. if you turn them. That's what water reducer does. It makes all the, all the, the sand, the cement, it makes it want to repel each other, which makes the mix more loose. That's the science behind it. So can you do? Can you pour water reducer or broom finish and all that too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Every day. All right. I can pour a four with water reducer if I need to. If it's on slope, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, we have water reducer that they put in our mix every time on mix designs. But we need to some mic. Yeah. That had that a lot. That had a, that, but they put water reducer in almost every four thousand mix around us. Now another question I got for you: Have you ever used a front front discharge mixer? A what mixer? A front discharge. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The concrete company's a mile down from my house. They yeah. Use a lot. Uh huh. And those guys are actually like my friends. Uh huh. Yeah. And that plant only has rear dumps because the fronts can't fit under the under the dis discharge. Yeah. But they have other plants around the state that do. And then the other company we use second most. They don't have any. That's yeah. why you don't see a lot of them on videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some now that you mention it, but what? So the difference, I've never used a rear one. I've seen it, it looks like a pain in the ass. I don't know if we have any uh, Well, let me tell you this. You might not think it's a pain in the ass, but me trying it for the first time with my crew, it would be tough. You know what I'm saying? You're used to it. Now, I'm grateful we have the driver that can do everything with a front discharge. It's so, my dad's a retired mixer driver. So he's he's one of the guys that's poured the most amount of concrete in Indiana, like as far as uh, he got the heavy hauler jacket and everything. But uh, We kind of like, like, I like, I like, Grabbing onto the chute, you know, when we're pouring it out, because we go at a certain speed. Uh huh. And then I pull in the head. But the driver's got to be pulling. My guys forward. know just what to do based on my speed, and we can get it right, right at the right level. We pull this whole room out without even doing anything. Yeah. And if you get a really good driver on a front dump, he can do the same thing. Oh yeah. But if you don't, then my guys are working twice as hard. You know, they get it low over there, oh, okay. high over there. He's moving too fast or he's moving too slow. So when you do it, you control it and you know it's right. I control right. it. Yeah. And if I need him to go faster, you know, I'll just look in the mirror, I'll go a little bit faster. Yeah. Now, one stupid question is, why did the guys running the chute use their hands? It's gravity. I have no idea. I've you never don't? done that in my life. You see it, though? It's like it's moving down yeah. already. What are you moving it faster Yeah. Though so they may need a little bit more in the area, but it is funny looking. And I, and it's I cool. wanted to say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. What are you doing? But isn't it so cool how different concrete guys do stuff differently all around the country? Yeah. I think we talked about that in our first conversation. But, yeah, I think it's so cool, dude. And I, and I love seeing people stand behind how they do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not going to give nobody a hard time at how they – unless they're 
they're doing some shitty ass, and I'm still not going to give them a hard time, but I might not have the respect for them if they're doing shitty work like I would you, you know what I mean? I always learn, I know, I learned early on, you know, I'll be new to, there's more than one way to do something right. Yeah. Why should I bash on you if you're doing it different, but you've got good results? Yeah. And I do it different, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, but you know when somebody watches a concrete channel for the first time and they're a concrete guy, they're always going to leave a comment how they do something differently. It's weird, but then they'll rock with you after that, you know? It's so weird. I get shit all the time. Yeah, I see it all the time. Hey, I got two. It is. They, they just comment right away. Uh, I got two more questions. Uh, so, uh... With the, the, did you, for one, did you see that video, that engineer that, that said you were a hack? Uh, probably. Yeah. I, I laughed at that. I almost reacted to his reaction video, yeah. dude, because, come on, man, you can't call my day a hack, man. So he only watched 30 seconds yeah. of my video, and he saw that wet concrete, and that's what he called me a hack. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. It was about the freezing thing or whatever, but, yeah. uh. He didn't see all the thawing stuff you guys did that they did the day before, which you're not in charge of. You're, you're, you, so why would you have it on video? You know, I get it. I had one more question, but I can't remember what it was. It was a good one, man. I I love talking with you guys, man. Uh, it is awesome, man. I do remember when you first called me though, and you and you you sent me some videos on about three years ago now. Was yeah, it, was it? Yeah, yeah, dude. At least two. It was. My, I just celebrated my third year on uh, YouTube. You were in the truck. I was on speakerphone. Uh, but it was it was about three years ago exactly because I just started my channel three years ago yesterday. I just had myself. It's that's pretty cool too. When you started, it was basically you and Odell. No, in all access, all access. He goes way back. Right. Uh, but he didn't do the consistency. But I do have to give a shout out. All access is the first one to start. If you go back and look, uh, which is crazy. Joe is cool as hell too. If you know, if you get to know him. I, Tyler. Joe. Joe. The all access. Access construction. Oh, okay. uh, Joe Johnson. He's actually he's from Indiana. He's one of the first. He's the first to start on YouTube. But uh, really cool guy, man. I had you. I had you second or third on the list. And you know who I forgot to put on the list? Concrete Ninja, because he's an OG too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever conversated with him? I, I, only in the comments. Yeah. Never really talked to him. Yeah. He's a fit dude for his age too. Yeah. I thought I was the most athletic guy on uh, concrete guy on YouTube until I seen him doing like 35 pull-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So over here, Cody up there on your on the loaders, you, you have you never seen any advanced mixers? All about. Tell me what you're doing. Advanced. Uh, this is then they got bought out by Terry. I don't think we did. Uh, not any advanced. Uh, you know, they were the first run-in loaders. Well, there might have been back when. Years ago, they were yeah, back when I first started seeing front loaders, it was probably in the late 80s, I guess. Yeah, that's a long time ago. And we were like shocked when they showed up. Yeah, well, we had them in the 70s. They were made for when Indiana, but then I said Terex bought them out. But when I was working for the concrete company I was working for, they took six of us up to the factory and they said what can we do to make these trucks better because we're sitting in the trucks working with them all day long and we gave them several ideas and, and they took a lot of them and it was pretty cool you know we went up to the factory and they started out with two steel rails you know and they start hanging tires on it they start an engine in the back you know they just start building it up and then they showed us the different types of, of uh, the barrels they could put on them you know whether it's one for extremely dry slump like for walls like you see on the highway you know or just different ones and i drove drove a mixer for 30 years and then did side job when, it, when kids were little make them extra money yeah. you want you want a bobcat nope you don't know never had to so look dude all the guys on youtube think you gotta have equipment you gotta have all this stuff man you don't have to have a bobcat uh and also I, I, everybody builds their channel differently. I got to give you a lot of respect for what you've done on the back end, the affiliate marketing, the other things, dude. People sleep on that stuff, but I already know, Mike. Hey, I got to give you props on that, <laughs> for real. I haven't done any of that. I have, I think about, I think uh, I'm going to talk to Gord about sponsoring one of my videos for Cadillac. 
uh, he's a good dude, man. He's a really good person. He said he sent you some things, and he, I saw it in your video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got a few things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you know, just having him back me up would be a cool thing just for the video uh, he backs me up anyway um, but then uh man i so would you ever if somebody wanted to i got this is my last question for you if somebody wanted to buy buy your channel and offered you money how much money would it take to sell your channel and would you would you sell it uh, and you don't have to be exact but uh, i told i said i wouldn't sell mine for less than fifty thousand. Yeah. All of my wood right now, I just, it's kind of like my hobby. Yeah. It's what I do. Yeah. I mean, it is a business, but it's kind of the really fun part of what I do. Other than other than coach and train my boy in basketball, yeah. like that's probably number one. I didn't know you were a hooper. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. big time. Uh, I don't know. I'm not ready to sell. I don't think I would right now. Okay. And I don't know how much I would charge if somebody did. Yeah, that's a tough really question. Don't know. All right, my other question I remembered now. Now, I've seen your content kind of change a little bit from voiceover over to vlogging did you have any hard time bringing your audience to a shift like that i don't think i had a hard time no i think they, most of my audience had already known me for quite a while yeah so i just like okay i'm gonna put the hat on and i'm gonna set up a tripod yeah, yeah. and just mix a little bit yeah. and see if they like one better than the other yeah yeah i haven't noticed a big difference in either one really yeah okay so i think they like both i do too and i think you did a great job transitioning and doing both man uh it's it's been you know, I've, I've learned a lot from your channel i think we all learn from each other a little bit you know yeah yeah if you're not learning somebody else that's really why i asked you these questions because i'm trying to pick your brain i'm trying to learn something you know what i mean so what's your favorite basketball college what's my favorite college basketball team is that your favorite basketball college bro? or nba oh. or probably right now okay in the nba when i watched it was larry bird well, yeah it was all those guys that's when i loved nba I don't want, I can't watch it anymore. It's bullshit. I love, I love watching all those stuff. I love watching really good high school basketball. That's fun. Oh, yeah. You guys probably got some good teams in Indiana. Oh, yeah. But, no, I can't watch Indiana anymore. You know what they say about Indiana? Which uh, one? How they say about it? It's the heartland of basketball. No, 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 that is about the life when they say. In, 48, in 49 states, it's basketball. It's just Indiana. basketball. In Indiana, it's life. Yeah. It's life. No, I've heard that. No, Larry Bird is my favorite player of all time. I, I watched him at Indiana State. I watched him in the national title game with Magic Johnson. Yeah. And thank God Boston got him. So, that's cool, man. Uh, do you ever shoot around anymore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the gym every day. Oh, wow. I got the key to the gym. I coach at the school. I coach at the school. I train. And I'm with my boy in the gym every day. Every day. He's a seventh grader. He's trying to get on. He's trying to get on what we call Team Maine. Yeah, you heard of this kid, Dude, Cooper, I, heard of this kid Cooper Flat? No, but I don't understand what you're saying. He's the number one high school player in the country right now. He's yeah. going to Duke next year. Oh, wow. So he played on that team. So we're trying to just kind of... My boy's really into it. Well, I'm, I'm coaching my daughter's basketball and soccer, and uh, nothing like what you're doing, but uh, to know that you're coaching and you're doing YouTube and you're doing concrete, that's inspiration for me. Sorry, that's inspiration for me because I'm doing the same thing on a smaller scale. You know what I mean? And if you can do it, I know I can do it too. Yeah. Make times for the things you love the most and then prioritize and everything after that. How important do you think it is to stay on top of your videos, like to post it two weeks later after you finish it. Did I don't you, think that's. I got videos from two years ago. I can still post. Yeah, that's not important to me. Okay. Nope. Not at all. Nope. As long as you're consistently posting, like you said. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something good. Yeah. yeah. Or decently good. Good on the good side. I. Uh, I see it. I think for me it's more fun to stay with it and and vlog it with the time. I to me it's more fun to do it like that. Uh, because I do lives and one other thing man I gotta ask you one more question would Mike Day ever think about doing not on my channel but on your channel would you ever do a live oh yeah yeah dude that would, yeah. dude if you ever want to do one to get your feet wet dude we'll just we can jump on a panel dude and just discuss what we did here today dude but if not i understand but dude a lot of people like my channel because they can get their feet wet in the lives and then they can go do it on theirs so, yeah 
Uh, I like to do a little podcast here and there, but I like to keep it all concrete related because I do it as a hobby, not a business. And whatever comes after, you know, is just free money to me. And it is free money. The cool thing about it is, is like, even if you're earning three dollars a day, that's more than you're earning your yeah. interest in the bank. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. Getting yeah. back to the basketball thing, though. Yeah, yeah. I, my daughter's 24 right now, uh -huh. and I coached and trained her all through high school. Yeah. I wasn't her high school coach, but I was her AAU coach. Yeah, yeah. We went all over the country. Her junior and senior year, she ended up winning state championships back to back. Wow. Sweet. The first time ever in her high school, and that was that was probably the most gratifying thing I have ever done to spend that time with her. And going through that process and not missing a thing. Wow. And I'm trying to do it all over again with my boy. And you still were doing YouTube when you were doing it? I was. You were on YouTube then? Yeah, yeah. That was 2017, 2018. Yep. Come on, guys. Yeah. I know how hard it is, uh, but... Okay, so you said make time. Do you schedule out anything? Uh, I know you did early, your lap, three years ago. You told me you edit on a certain day to have a video out by a certain day. Yeah. Now I've got such a backlog. Like I got videos, YouTube videos in advance, oh, okay. ready to go for like two months. That's awesome. But it's work, right? Like I take a Sunday. Yeah. I'll get up at five in the morning if I need to, mm -hmm. so I won't take time away from Tyler, my boy. Yeah. And I'll, I'll work three hours. And That's I true. could I could probably sometimes the way I do it, I'll get three right videos there. out. Uh -huh. And I'll schedule them for, you know, whatever, Monday, Friday. Yeah. Monday, Friday of the next week. So I just slowly build up that so they get pushed in advance. Yeah. So if I do need to take a week off, uh, I'm not missing nothing. Not missing nothing. And do you upload at the same time on certain days? Oh, it... yeah, I try to. At 8 o'clock on, uh, I believe it's wednesday and sunday okay yeah. is that very is that's pretty important huh yeah because yeah, same time every now day. if you ever want to run a premiere your people know when you post right. do you ever done a premiere yeah a couple okay uh, i've never back. done one i've never done one yeah uh i would like I, to try it yeah i didn't find it was like anything amazing no i saw odell do it one time and he got three million views uh so i think if you do catch a premiere and you got good watch time yeah which that help your lives help you with that because yeah. your lives are your people like i got the thunder gang and and, and they, they're gonna come to my lives no matter what you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. just you don't know who they are but they're shout out thunder gang but uh so people like that i, I built up so i i, I I've kind of messed up my YouTube channel where I've got an audience for shorts, an audience for longs, and an audience for lives. The only two I really, really care about are the lives and the, the, the long form. Yeah. And uh, the shorts, man, now I'm not even trying to go viral anymore. Uh, I gotta, you all gotta catch up with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now. I'm views. I got 260 something million views. Isn't that nuts? I know. Uh, but shorts, but uh, so I stopped doing the reactions and now I'm just doing it. I'm just making it like the YouTube stories used to be because they'll still get 18,000 views you know what I mean or yeah. whatever but uh, they're not going to get you never know they might get millions but uh, they're fun to make when you do it that way uh, I noticed your what do you so what do you think about shorts they're secondary to everything else I do secondary yeah, I like to focus on the stuff that makes that makes me money if I'm going to spend the time doing it make money. I want to be able to make money doing it because I'm going to take that money and I'm going to invest it in other things it could be my kids, it could be college education, it could be retirement. If I'm gonna take time to do it, and shorts doesn't make me that much money. No, it, it doesn't, can. it, it can. really good video it can, but it's so sporadic. Oh yeah. I wanna do the stuff that's consistently it's, it's way more sporadic. I made six grand one month off shorts. Yeah. And uh, But the next month I made three, and then the next month I made a grand. It is so sporadic. What I found out, it was like, all right, I'm not going to do the shorts and do the, the character of the reactions if y'all ain't going to watch it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just be myself. And uh, and that's even more. It's it, Not being yourself, it won't last anyway. Right. It won't. And it was a character kind of on shorts, but... I didn't feel my like myself, bro. I really didn't. And uh, even on the long form videos that I've had that went viral, I didn't necessarily feel like that was necessarily me. But it went viral and it did a good job, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. but I, there's there's kind of got to be a balance in there or something. Right. Right. No, it's all good. Yeah, it was great talking with you, bro. For real. This is Mike on day two, and it's a very intriguing conversation, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. The guy on the right is Tony Bernaldo. I had a great time meeting him and spent a lot of time with him. He's a good guy. Two, what's up, buddy? Yeah. I thought, hey, I didn't, I didn't know you came back. Day two, yeah. He's a real one, dude. I've gotten so much inspiration from you, man. It's not even yesterday. Uh, like I said, when I'm talking to people, I'm trying to learn stuff, yeah. and uh, 
that was amazing that little podcast we did in there that little podcast that was cool, that was cool. I, I interviewed Mike oh, cool. <laughs> nice. it was it was uh, uh, impromptu though yeah. it was, it, that's what made it even better I, I I wanted to know how who inspired him to get on YouTube bro you yeah know? Like, so who inspired Mike Day? Because you were one of the first. <laughs> was the one. What, uh, what year did you actually do your first one? Boy, I don't know. I'd have to go back it's and look now. I bet it was, I bet it was six or seven years ago, maybe, or even maybe a little more now. Okay. My very first one. Yeah. yeah. Look, I and I've got it been even longer. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Uh, I've seen all the podcasts that Mike appears on other channels. He's got like two or three other channels that he's appeared on that are in the algorithm. Like, yeah. you got to really look. You know what I mean? And uh, one time your channel got deleted. I remember that. Did you get hacked? Oh, yeah, I did. I want to hear about that. I forgot to ask you. Did you get hacked? Yeah. Uh, my buddy Jay Williams got hacked, and he lost his channel. Uh, but then they took his bank account. Like, they got him bad. Uh, but you, it seemed like you didn't have that much trouble with it, did you? you? It went down for a few days, didn't it? It went down, yeah. I think by the time they restored it, it was probably a couple, like a couple weeks. But um, Did you lose any subscribers? I don't think I did. Okay. Other than the ones I lost while it was down. Maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just basically through an email. You know, it was one of those emails where that looked really real. Yeah. Did all the research on it, checked them out. And it was looked, a link. Looked them up on LinkedIn. It was uh, actually Under Armour. Yeah. Um, oh. And so be it, careful with those sponsorships. Yeah, as soon as you clicked on the link, that yeah. was it. It was all done. That's what happened to my buddy Jay Williams. Now it was like they were saying they had Canon cameras, so don't click on any link. I don't click on any I links. Know. I get a lot of it on my Facebook business. Yeah. Uh, a lot of fake, uh, fake pages saying your pages you had a, a copyright infringement, blah blah blah, and they're all scams, but they're very prevalent right now. How's Darren doing? Good. Yeah, dude, yeah. he's a beast. Yeah. Darren and Luke both. Yeah, yeah they yeah. both are beasts. Yeah, everybody keeps asking if they're brothers, you know, when we're on a job site. <laughs> How's your daughter? Good. She's a beast, dude. Like, teaching a girl how to finish concrete. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's a video in itself. Yeah, she can run a power trial. She can finish. She's good. Is she in college? She graduated, yeah. Oh, okay. Got, got, got a full-time job now. Okay. Not too many girls can do that. I miss having hey, her. Oh, yeah. Uh, I bet. Athletic, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I remember seeing her. Yeah, free sport athlete. Nice. Basketball was our best sport. Okay. Mike Mike's channel is a concrete guy's channel. Yes. You know, like oh, yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot. Yeah. By watching most of Mike's videos. Yeah, yeah, for real, dude. It's always picking up new stuff. It's really an honor to actually get to meet. I mean, you know, we all put our pants on one leg at a time, but you know, I mean, it's yeah. it's an honor just to get to meet you, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Finally. I, yeah. Oh, so many guys here that know so much about concrete, you know, including yeah. you guys. It's just, you know, the guys that put themselves out there that help others. Yep. That's the only reason why I like we're no better than anybody. Exactly. We just maybe out there so people can watch us. Yeah. So, and it's it's kind of cool how each one of us, like on at least on that panel, we had a totally different story, like yeah. for. Our, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That was nice to see you guys all up there together, given the different perspectives. We're yeah. All on the same. Topic. Yeah, so Tony's jumping off with his channel. He's got a couple of shorts up now, but uh, yeah. he's going to be... That's cool, man. I, I, I love it. I think the more, the merrier. And that's what you said to me. I, me I specifically remember our conversation when I had like two videos up. You said, you, you said the better you do actually makes it the better for me and better for everybody else in the concrete niche. True. I remember you, and I've always stuck by that, and I've told other people that. Yeah. Some people don't believe it, though. It's not really competition. It's not. It's not at all. But some people act like it is, man. And it kind of, that kind of, it, I understand the friendly competition. That's fun. Yeah. But I, I don't I would know. See maybe some some guys taking it that way. But I, everybody that I've met, like all you guys. Oh yeah. If I do well, I'm gonna be promoting the guys who inspired me. Yeah. You know, I, like, I was kind of talking people about. People are gonna be getting pushed to Grub Mud, Mike Day. Oh yeah. For sure. That's just who I am. Oh yeah. You know, I think most people in our industry here doing what we're doing are, are of that same mentality and mindset. I, I wasn't talking about any creators really, but uh, yeah. the the kind of the subscription. Do you get uh, ever get a um, comment in your section? Well, do you read their comments? Yeah, most of them. Yeah, yeah. I thought you did because you always respond. Yeah. I, I always get the comment, this definitely isn't victory style. <laughs> I'm like, of course it's not. It's <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> Have you have you ever collabed with Ryan, or you just saw him at World Concrete, right? No, no, we just kind of hang out sometimes. Yeah. yeah, never on video though. Yeah. Oh yeah, one thing I, I did when you guys were doing that panel, uh, 
is I, I looked at each of your subscribers. So all together, the four of you yeah. have 1,075,000 together. Wow. Uh, that's crazy. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. In, in, with, in four channels. Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. Hell, with three, we were over a million, weren't we? Yeah. With just three of them? Yeah. Well, you're at, <laughs> you're over a quarter mil. You're getting up to almost 300. Yeah. And, and Ryan's half a million. Hearing half. And then Rick's at like 60. Yeah. Rick, hey, Rick's one of the funnest channels to watch, though. Yeah, I like that. It's cool, though, because, like like I said, a concrete guy, like, you know, like me, likes to watch, definitely likes to watch his style video. Like, a voiceover does not bore me at all, no. you know? Uh, and But I, like I told you yesterday, I like how, have you noticed he's vlogs lately on, with, his, with yep. his GoPro? Yeah. He's been yeah, just switching it up. listening to guys explain what they're doing as they're doing it. Helps for sure. Show a little different side of yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm kind of like private too. Like I don't show much around the home and stuff. But oh yeah. I don't know. There's not. There's not. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. We might try doing a little of that. See how that goes. So there's another niche on YouTube. It's called the prison genre. It's the people that have gotten out of prison and oh, are yeah. doing better. Well, so I. I've been to prison for like six months, right? And that was ten years ago. But so, but I've been to jail a lot, so I, 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 I get what these guys are are saying and what they feel and their stories. I relate to them, and I've always commented on certain ones of their videos. And in their genre, I actually got shorts creator of the year. So, are you staying in Holiday Inn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, have you ever met uh, David O'Dell in person? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I love the concrete. Dude, he seems pretty genuine, yeah. man. I know him and West Coast got like a little thing going on, but they, he seems pretty genuine, yeah. man. I, I, And you know, I don't got no problems with West Coast, man. Say whatever you want to say, you know? Like, you, it's the internet. You got the freedom of speech, you know what I mean? But uh, he did inspire me. I'll give him that. And uh, I think his content is interesting. The work I had to do, and it increased the gross, yeah. but it didn't really increase the net. Right. What, have yeah. more guys? Yeah. yeah. I can so, see that being the case. So much more payroll. Find that sweet spot. Workman's comp. I mean, everybody with me is on payroll. There's, right. there's no 1099, so they're employees. it's okay. expensive. Three, three to four, I think, is pretty good if you're doing residential. That's what I yeah. said, yeah. yeah. Four at the most. Four, four and then yeah. if you need another finisher, hey, buddy, can you right. come in? Here's 300 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, li I like that one. I like that way too, and even three is okay if, if you do it like that. Like me, my dad, and Zeus is really perfect. Zeus kind of wants me to. He's like, man, you should get bigger and bigger. I'm like, Zeus, it actually, with the margins, it's better like this. Yeah. Well, if you grew to, to that larger, you would almost not be able to work like you do on the site. You'd be, you'd be managing it. Yeah. yeah. Now you're able to manage. A lot of while people say that too. They say, well, you're not a real business owner because you're out there working with your guys every day. I, I mean, I can see their point of view, but I'm not a manager, man. I, I love doing <laughs> yes. what I'm doing. I'm going to keep doing it. I don't care yep. what anybody says. Yeah, and I agree. Yes, if, if I stop working, maybe we don't do, get as much done, but that's just me. I'm not going to change who I am because right. somebody else tells me I'm something I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen to that. I agree. Just, you do your thing, I'll do my thing, and let's just all be happy. Yeah. Wow. It's still working out for me, so yeah. Yeah. that's all that matters. I love being with my guys, too. Yeah. I mean, they're like family. Yep. I'm with them probably at least as much as I am with my family. Right. Yep. So, and we all enjoy each other. Yeah. You would, they're like brothers. Yeah. 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 That takes a little while to get to, too. Uh, yeah. Like one of them called me yesterday. He's like, "Hey, Mike, just uh, how's it going out there? Just checking in on me." Yep. Yeah. He doesn't have to call me. No. <laughs> I'm gonna hit up front, guys. Yeah, I gotta hit the rest. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll Good see you guys around a little bit. All right. I'll yeah, see you guys sure. in a minute. And yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. I like Mike. Man. Yeah, very cool. Guy. Hey, I gotta say, man, that was one of the best conversations I've ever had in my life. Mike Day, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go charge up my um, batteries.